Hey, I've just got a quick update on my uh, pathfinding slash bullet situation. Um, so I thought this was going to be super easy since I seem to have successfully gotten the uh, pathfinding to work. But something that I forgot to talk about in the last video is um, that, that that preview path, that's great, but it's not good enough because these blocks can break. So if the ball is just moving between predefined points based on where um, it's detected that there will be a bounce, there's bound to be situations where the ball is heading towards something that hit already that shot and that thing is not there for it to bounce off of anymore. So it shouldn't be moving as if it's bouncing. It needs to have, it needs to know that there's nothing there. So uh, right from the jump, the plan was to have that kind of preview path drawn out um, just to kind of show to me that it will work at least that far. But then when you actually shoot the bullet, um, it needs to go to the first, um, the first point that's detected, the adjusted point that I talked about before. And then for each point after that, it needs to do a new one on the fly. And uh, unfortunately, that means I can't just use the path that I've already created from the, the preview. I've got to do it a slightly different way. It's still the same basic idea, but I don't know, maybe I've been thinking about this too long and my brain's turning mushy, but um, this one's really tricky for me to figure out. But check it out. I can aim this. I'll give it a really tight, nasty angle. This is the kind of thing that would usually give me a hard time because that's like right, right in there. And watch this. It's going to bounce in and bounce straight back and then go up and down. Beautiful, look at that. And at this point, it will actually continue to bounce indefinitely. Um, I'll eventually work in, uh, it'll have kind of its own um, distance that it can travel naturally. And then once it's reached that limit, uh, the bullet will uh, die when it hits its next target. It's not gonna vanish in air. Um, but look at that, it's, it works. It's hitting all those, all those edges, all those weird little corners. It might be stuck up there right now. Oh, it's gonna get down. It's kind of mesmerizing, but that is a continuously bouncing ball that is not using the uh, built-in Unity physics, um, with the exception, of, of course, of the uh, circle cast to, um, to check for uh, colliders. But yeah, look at that. So cool. Let them go. All right. Goodbye.